whole point of this is to not hire on availability, but to hire on ability and to hire the right people, put them in the right seat and get them working on the right stuff at the right time. Uh. Welcome. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of the Agency Hour live here in the Digital Mavericks Facebook group and, of course, on your favourite podcatcher, wherever you are listening to this as a podcast. A little bit of a Osaka monorail going on in the background there. I went and saw these guys live last night in Melbourne at a venue called Mimo Hall, a fantastic venue, and they were unbelievable. They, were, they are such a great band. They are super tight, Japanese funk band, and I didn't even know there was a funk scene in Japan, but these guys are incredible. It was lots of fun. All right, of course, today we are here as part of our free training week this week, uh, special bonus episodes of the Agency Hour where we are helping you hire your first or next team member. It's been a very, very uh, action-packed week with lots of training, of course, on uh, Tuesday, my time, Monday for the rest of you on the other side of the planet. We went through a framework called the five F's where we essentially made the case as to why you should hire your first or next team member to free up some of your time so that you can focus on other parts of the business and also focus on other parts of your life to get some balance in your life, right? There's no point hustling your face off and then burning out and going broke because then you're no good to anyone. Uh, the following day, we walked through the org chart, how to develop an org chart for your agency, a future-facing org chart, so that you know which roles you need to hire and you should have figured out which role to hire next. Yesterday, we walked through the job scorecard, which is the next part of the process, the next piece in the puzzle. How do you put together a job scorecard to make sure that you hire the right person who has, you know, is a, is a great fit and has the skill set and the competencies to actually deliver outcomes rather than just listing a bunch of tasks? And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to walk you through the entire Team Accelerator blueprint and I have a very, very special announcement. We are opening the doors to our Team Accelerator blueprint training. For the first time ever, we are making this available to people who are, uh, this has previously only ever been available to two types of clients. One, our Mavericks Club members who are in our mastermind and we also ran this uh, over the last six months for private Team Accelerator clients where we were recruiting team members for those agencies out of our talent pool. We have a talent pool of designers and developers and SEOs and, um, and, and admin assistants in the Philippines. And we have been hiring and recruiting from that talent pool and connecting those agency owners with the talent and that's where this process has come from we've built this process so that we can hire for our clients now full transparency we are no longer offering team accelerator as a standalone product we're only offering it to mavericks club members so our done for you recruitment process is only available for mavericks club members however today for the first time we are making the entire process available to you guys to use to recruit your own talent. Full transparency. We will not be recruiting the talent for you. You need to go and find the talent and do the work. But the good news is you won't have to waste any time trying to figure it out. Man, if this training was around in 2008 when I started as a freelancer, 2007 I started as a freelancer, and then 2008 I met my girlfriend who is now my wife and is trying to control two kids under the age of five and is in the middle of world war three out there in the rest of the house uh, i met her and then i met uh one of her mum's friends chrissy who is my wife's godmother and chrissy basically sat me down and said to me you need to hire someone to help you otherwise you're going to burn out son and i said i don't want to bloody hire someone i don't want to hire someone that sounds like a pain in the ass 
I don't want to manage someone. I don't want to put up with someone's bullshit every day and they're complaining and they're whinging and not doing the job right and they have a bad day or they get sick. I don't want to do that. That sounds too grown up for me. I just want to sit behind my computer and build websites. And she said, well, that's fine. But you and I both know that that is a road that is going to lead to burnout and there's no leverage in it. Like how much can you possibly earn just doing all the things yourself? And at the time I was like, well, I'd be happy to earn 70 grand a year. That would be great, you know? And over the years, and so I got there, and then over the years I realised, you know what, I don't want to build websites anymore. I don't want to write code. I clearly remember the time when CSS preprocessors came out. Less and SAS, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, it's okay. You're not missing out on anything. For those of you who are developers, you do know what I'm talking about. And I remember sitting there reading a blog post on CSS tricks going, I am about to go down a rabbit hole and learn how to use CSS preprocessors. Is this really what I want to do with the rest of my life? And I had an out-of-body experience where I looked down on myself and said, boy, you need to make a decision right now. Do you want to be a developer or a business owner? And I rang my business partner at the time and I said, I'm out. I'm not developing anymore. You can jam it. We need to find someone to develop websites because I'm finished. I'm not building websites anymore. This is the last one. And that was it. I haven't built a website since. Well, not for commercial reasons, just for fun I have. And at that moment, I decided to become a business owner. And that was in 2008. Man, if I had this training back then, I would have been able to grow my team of A players within 12 to 18 months. And it just would have, I, it, I, I would, it would have just saved me I've been figuring this out for the last 10 years. And you should ask Max, our producer here on the show who works with me in the office. I haven't got a friggin' clue what I'm doing. Max will attest to that. Oh, Troy's hopeless. He hasn't got a clue what he's doing. But the good news is our team now have figured out a process to hire, onboard, and grow a team of A players. And that is the process that we are making available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the blueprint, I'm going to walk you through the entire Team Accelerator blueprint and then I'll give you the details on how you can get it and I'll take questions and I'll answer some, uh, you know, I'll, I'll answer the common questions that we get around this stuff. So I think I need to share my screen, Max. For those of you who are listening to this as a podcast, you really should come into the Digital Mavericks Facebook group and join in the fun so you can see what we're doing on the screen. But it's okay, I'll walk you through it. Okay, what I'm sharing on the screen now is a mind map. I use whimsical.com for those of you who are about to ask, oh, what software are you using for your mind maps? It's called whimsical.com. I love whimsical. It's like a digital whiteboard. And this is a mind map. And there are really four big chunky phases, if you like, to the Team Accelerator Blueprint. Four kind of stages that I go through in my head to think about hiring someone new and getting them on board and getting them through their first 30 days because I think the first 30 days is really important. Now, to be clear, this is not about managing a high-performing team ongoing. That's a completely separate conversation. What we want to do here is we want to help you hire your first or next team member and we want to give you everything you need to do that we want to hold your hand every step of the way and we guarantee this process works. In fact, we uh, stay with us on this call and on this episode because I'm going to give you the details around the guarantee on this. We're doing something we've never done before and some people think I'm stupid, but we are going to give you a more than 100% money back guarantee on this process. That's right. Well, stay with me. I'll tell you the details around that a little bit later on. So the four phases that we go through, the first one is sounds really boring. It's called preparation. I'll come back to that one in a second. The second process is the actual interviews, talking to someone and seeing if they're a good fit. The third is onboarding that person into the organisation once we've made a decision and we think they're right. And the last is the check-ins over the first 30 days checking in with that team member to make sure that they're all good and that they're set up for success. Now, I'll just give you a little insight. Yesterday, we had a share in our Slack channel. Michelle and Micah in the Philippines 
shared they checked in with a team member that we have recruited for one of our agency clients in the States. We have an agency client in the US who was looking for a developer. We followed the Team Accelerator process. We hired a developer for this agency in the States. It's something that we do every day of the week. And yesterday they checked in, our team checked in with the developer and said, hey, how are you going? And the developer is unbelievably happy in his new role with this US-based agency. And the US agency, who's a Mavericks Club member, said, this has been an incredible process. I cannot believe I've found this person who's in my organization. It's been amazing and I couldn't have done it without the team, without the Mavericks team. So super happy to hear that kind of feedback. The point I'm trying to make is that that wouldn't happen without this process. And I also need to give a huge shout out to Michelle, Charmaine and Micah in the Philippines who have really helped me formulate this process and put this process into place over the last probably six to nine months that we've been developing it. So let's come back to preparation for a second, which sounds super boring. And on the screen here, all I'm doing is I'm just expanding my nodes on the mind map to show you the things that you need to understand and all the different parts of the Team Accelerator Blueprint. So obviously we don't have time for me to go into all of the details for every single one of these, but I'm going to give you a high level overview of the things that you need to have in place before you even think about hiring someone. And the first thing we've got here is your company mission and values. And I know that sounds super boring, but I promise you, if you don't give people a reason to want to come and work with you, then the only thing you have to compete on is salary and work conditions and flexibility. Everybody wants to work from home these days after two years of the pandemic. And you might have a remote team and that's fine. Everybody wants flexibility. They want to work the hours they want to work. And everybody wants ridiculous salaries because employment is at an all-time, unemployment is at an all-time low. There is so much demand for web designers, web developers, digital marketers, SEO, copywriters, project managers, account managers. There's so much demand for this type of talent. Everybody is demanding insane salaries. And so if you don't give people a reason to want to come and work with your organization, then the only thing you have to bargain with is the salary and the flexibility and the conditions. Uh, and that's going to hurt. I'm not saying that you need to underpay people. What I'm saying is that at the moment, people are, uh, talent are demanding like salaries that are like 150% above market value, right? So giving people meaning in their work and giving them a reason to come and work with you and giving them a mission to be a part of and a shared set of values that you believe in is going to help attract the right type of candidates. A couple of other things you need to think about is payment infrastructure. How are you going to pay these staff? Are they contractors? Are they full-time? Are they international? How do we pay them internationally so that they don't eat the fees and so that you don't get stung on the fees? Of course, we've talked about the job scorecard. That is one of the very first things that you need to do when setting up and preparing for a new role. In fact, I say to my team now, they want to hire people. I'm like, where's the job scorecard and is it in the budget? If there's not a job scorecard, come back to me. If there is a job scorecard, let's have a look at it. And then is it in the budget? Yes. Okay, great. Let's go find someone. If, it's, if there's no job scorecard and it's not in the budget, we're not hiring anyone. Simple as that. Once you've done the job scorecard, and again, I'm just expanding a little node here on the mind map for those of you who are listening to the podcast. The job scorecard, just a reminder from yesterday, consists of those three main components, the purpose of the role that you're hiring, the outcomes that the role is responsible for, and the competencies that you need that role to have to be successful in that role. Then we write the job ad based on the job scorecard, right? Once people put their hand up and respond to the job ad, and there's a process that we will teach you in Team Accelerator Blueprint where people respond to the job ad and we actually get them to self uh, select and, and and this process eliminates probably 70 to 80 percent of the people who are just the wrong candidates because the problem is when you start posting job ads in groups or in forums particularly if you're looking for a remote team you're going to get a lot of applicants from agencies who are just pretending to be you know john applying for the job turns out john works for an agency right that happens all the time so our process just weeds those people out and just gets the cream of the crop to float to the top Oh, I just made a rhyming couplet. Gets the cream of the crop to float to the top. 
Once the cream of the crop has floated to the top, then we do a quick triage interview with people and we'll give you the script for that just to make sure that, you know, they're not an agency, make sure they're a good fit, make sure they turn up on time. Then we do, we start vetting those candidates and we look at things like this, language proficiency, right? If your audience is Spanish and you need your your new team member to speak Spanish, then we want to make sure that they can speak Spanish, right? We want to, in our world, we want to make sure that our team members can speak and write very good English. And that's a big part, it's a, it's a critical part of working with us, right? We want to make sure that they are punctual. We want to make sure they have good connectivity, internet, electricity. They have some redundancies um, so that, you know, they're going to be online basically. And we do a background check on them. We also check some other things. Uh, I haven't got time to go into all that now, but we make sure that the person is legitimate. They're not an agency. They're actually going to turn up on time. They're able to follow processes and follow basic instructions. Once we've done this quick little vetting of candidates and a quick triage interview on them, we rate and review applicants, and then we add those applicants to the pipeline, to our, to our recruitment pipeline, which I'll talk about in a second. All right, so now we've got people in our recruitment pipeline, it's time to actually interview them. Now we've done a quick triage interview, but that's just to qualify people in or out. The interview process looks like this, and again, for those listening to the podcast, I'm just expanding a node on my mind map. So you should really come and join the Digital Mavericks Facebook group so that you can see it. And here's how the interview process works. The first interview we do is called the culture interview. That's really, we just make sure they're a good fit to work with our organization. We don't actually ask them about their skills. I call this the coffee test. I just wanna make sure that I can hang out with this person for an hour or so, have a coffee and talk about life and actually connect. There is an entire script and a whole bank of questions that we use to run these interviews. And don't worry, you will get all of those inside Team Accelerator Blueprint. Then if we think they're a good fit and we want to put them through, we give them some homework. And here's a little twist. We don't actually decide whether or not we're going to put them through to the next interview. We let them decide. If we want to put them through, we will let them decide. And we'll say, hey, send through this homework. We'll prescribe some homework. And let us know if you want to move through to the next phase. And then we let them come back to us. That shows us how hungry they are. The second interview is what we call the competencies interview. So the first interview is the culture interview. It's a bit of homework. The second interview is the competencies interview where we might actually start including some tests for them. That might be uh, another English proficiency test if they're going to be a front-facing client communication role. It might be a PHP test. It might be a WordPress test. It might be a productivity test, project management test. It might just be a personality test, depending on the role. We then give them some homework at the end of the competencies interview. By the way, the culture interview is like a 15 minute quick phone check-in, right? Competence, a phone screen. Competencies interview might be half an hour, 45 minutes. We give them some more homework after that. We ask them the same question. Do you want to keep going? Let us know. If they're super hungry, then we put them through to the commitment interview. And we gauge in the commitment interview how likely they are to stay in this role and stay in the organization and how likely they are over the next five years to become a leader in the organization. And on the commitment interview, uh, at the end of the commitment interview, there's a decision that we need to make. We either reject them or we make them a letter of offer if we think they're going to uh, be a good fit and they're gonna be successful in the role and we wanna hire them, then we, we give them a letter of offer. And don't worry, we've got a template for that which we will give you in the Team Accelerator Blueprint training. We also have agreements and templates for employment agreements and contractor agreements. Need to let you know that unfortunately we are not human resource lawyers. So you, you know, do your own research, but at least you've got our templates to start with. Um, I had some great legal advice once from a lawyer that said, once you're earning enough money, Once you're earning more money than you care to lose, you should hire a lawyer to look over your stuff. So that's my advice there. Um, Now, at this point, uh, by the way, the the three interviews, the culture, the competencies, and the commitment interview, we kind of mix them up a little bit and make sure that that the agency owner is not doing all of those interviews. So the last person we hired, Alejandro, who's now running our social media, we hired her a few weeks ago to replace Maddie who left. I just did the commitment interview with her. Emily and I did the commitment interview with her. I didn't speak to her and the culture and competence interview are run by other people in the organization, right? So we get a really, we get lots of opinions. Now, if it's just you and you don't have anyone in the organization, you're looking at hiring your first team member, then just reach out to a colleague to help you do one of those interviews, right? Reach out to another freelancer or an accountability partner in Team Accelerator Blueprint and help you do those interviews. 
Okay, so at this point, hopefully, they've accepted the offer. And we've the interview process is designed to answer three questions. One, can I sit down and have a coffee with this person and actually hang out with them as a human being? Two, are they, do they have a 90% chance of succeeding in this role based on the competencies interview? And that's a bit of a gut feel, but it's a really educated gut feel based on the interview process that we put them through in the competencies interview. And then the commitment interview is how likely are they to succeed in this role over the next five years and become a leader in the organization? So let's pretend that they accept the offer. We then put them through onboarding. Now, the, I'm just going to scratch the surface here. I've just given you a very high level overview of the onboarding process, which we're going to give you again, and I'll talk more about that in a moment. There are three sections to onboarding. One is the team leader. And if it's if you're the agency owner and you're hiring your first person, then that is you. If you're a larger agency, you might have an SEO lead who's hiring a junior SEO, then the this stuff would be for the SEO lead, right? Their job is to get them set up on payroll, go through a welcome call and induct them into the organization, add them to all the software, grant all the right access they need, of course. Um, the new hire needs to join all the software applications, add the meeting cadence to the calendar so they know when to turn up for weekly and daily team meetings, sign the agreement, and also study what we call the help framework, which is how you ask for help when you're in a new role, okay? Again, don't worry, all the details are in the training. I just want to give you an idea here of the things that you need to be aware of. And then also the company info of like the social media channels, the North Star, why we're here, what our mission is, uh, what, what the vision is, how we communicate, what channels we use to communicate. Do we use Voxer, Slack? Mindset, there's a bit of training around the mindset stuff to stay positive and how you resolve conflict. So if there's a problem with another team member or a client, here's the process we go through. So this is onboarding and that first seven days is really critical to get the person onboarded. And what I see happen a lot is an agency will hire someone and then go, yes, we just hired John. He's a new developer. He's great. How are you, John? You're good? Great. All right, have fun. Bye. And they don't talk to John for the next seven days. And then all of a sudden they wonder why John's feeling like a shag on a rock. He feels like he's not fitting in. He feels like he's not making a meaningful contribution because we've just neglected him because he's remote and we've forgotten about him happens all the time. Doesn't matter what size agency you are, by the way. I've had seven figure agencies come to me and go, we did it again. We hired someone and then forgot about him because he was in Sri Lanka, right? And he wasn't in the office. So super important you get that first seven days, right? And then we have seven, 14, 21 and 28 day check-ins, which follow a very similar format to make sure that the person is set up to succeed in that role, right? We wanna make sure that they have everything they need, that their expectations are met, that our expectations are met, and that they are set up to succeed against the job scorecard, against the outcomes that are on the job scorecard, okay? The whole point of this is to not hire on availability, but to hire on ability and to hire the right people put them in the right seat and get them working on the right stuff at the right time. It takes longer. It's way easier to find someone who's available and go, yeah, you'll do. Hire them and then realize in three months time or three weeks time why they haven't worked out. And then you're stuck with someone and you need to fire them and it's awkward. This takes longer. We typically see from the time someone says, I'm ready to hire a developer or a social media person or whatever whatever the role is until the time they're onboarded in the, and they're starting their first seven days could be four to six weeks. We think the entire process from start to the end of the 30-day check-in is a 90-day process. You should be able to get someone recruited, onboarded and inducted and get them through their first month and they're set up for success. That whole thing should take 90 days, right? Now, we have a process where we only do one at a time. So we try and, you know, just recruit one person at a time. Once they're onboarded, and depending on the size of your agency and how many people are working there and the capacity that you have, you can do multiple at once. You could be recruiting multiple people, multiple roles at a time. But we find that the more attention that you give each hire, each uh, new team member, then the more likely they are to succeed long term. So at a very high level, that is the Team Accelerator Blueprint. Now, there's lots of details around this. I am love to hear your questions. I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions in a minute, but I'd love to hear any questions you've got, okay? If you have any questions about this process, 
please let me know in the comments and I'll answer those questions. I'm going to answer some other questions in a moment and then I'll walk you through how you can get access to the Team Accelerator Blueprint. We're opening the doors today, by the way, to Team Accelerator Blueprint and we're only opening the doors for seven days. And I'll explain a little bit in a minute how it works and how we're rolling it out and why we're doing it this way. Um, now, some really common questions I get are, well, how, where do you recruit from? <clears throat> Excuse me. And while... While you will get a different quality of talent pool from various sources, so you've got, for example, Upwork, Virtual Latinos, OnlineJobs.ph, Freelancer.com, uh, you know, then you can just you go to like Seek or Indeed or LinkedIn. There's there's many many different sources. the The process that we've put together is designed to smoke out the talent that's what we call it in fact there's a whole section in team accelerator blueprint called smoke out the talent right and the process we put together which really is the how the job scorecard and the job ad interact and how they work together that gets the best talent to put their hand up there's a couple of tweaks if you're on something like upwork for example what you might do is you might hire someone just to do a project on upwork and then offer them a job off upwork if they're looking for an opportunity if they're looking for a full-time role uh, the process doesn't change regardless of where you're recruiting from. The process doesn't change. I can tell you our preference. We, we've had, we have a talent pool in the Philippines. We actually run our own Facebook groups in the Philippines where we promote freelancing and working from home for remote teams. Michelle and Micah do a great job over there building a talent pool. We've had a lot of success with our Mavericks Club clients recruiting on their own from onlinejobs.ph. We also have... Mavericks Club members who have done really well recruiting in South America through virtual Latinos. Uh, so, and I, and I, we've also had great a lot of success with clients recruiting directly from Upwork. Okay, so the the marketplace of talent doesn't really matter. It's the process that's more important. One of the other really common questions we get is, well, how much should I pay? And the answer to that is, it's a sucky answer, but the answer is, it depends on a couple of things. One, it depends on the role that you're hiring for. But most importantly, it depends on how well you know your numbers. The mistake I see happen a lot is, is agency owners hire someone without thinking through the financial implications of that hire. Right? Generally, there's a cost to hiring someone. It's not just their salary, but it's the time that it's going to take to get them on board into the organisation. And there's the time it takes to manage them moving forward, right? o ongoing, long term. There's also increased software costs because you have to add someone to Asana and you have to add someone to G Drive and whatever, right? So there are all those other costs. And if you're employing staff, like here in Australia, for example, you pay superannuation. If you're employing staff in the US, you might be, play, you might be paying health benefits. Uh, if you're employing staff in the Philippines, you'll pay the 13th month. You, you also might pay for some other things like uh, office expenses, some internet. So there are additional costs other than just the salary, right? Your job as an agency owner is to know your numbers and to know what's called the contribution margin. I wish I'd made this up, but I didn't. The contribution margin is how much revenue do we need to generate in order to pay for this role? And it depends on whether or not they, the role is producing work for clients or they're an internal role. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me give you an example. If, you, if you're a video marketing agency and you hire a videographer to edit videos for your clients, then they are what's called a direct labor cost. That labor you are paying for is directly related to you selling that service to clients. If you hire an SEO to perform SEO tasks for client campaigns, then they are a direct labor cost. If you hire a designer to design websites that you're selling to clients, they are a direct labor cost. If you hire an executive assistant to help you as the agency owner do all your admin stuff, they are an indirect labor cost because you're, they're not producing anything that you're selling to clients. So you need to figure out whether this is a direct labor cost or an indirect labor cost for this particular role that you're hiring. And then you just need to work out your margins, right? And if the rule of thirds applies, so without getting into a financial masterclass here, the, the rule of thirds says, well, if we sell something for $100, the direct cost should be no more than $33 to actually produce that. 
and the indirect costs should be no more than $33 to run the business while we're producing that. So we've got $33 of profit. Now stay with me here because this could get complicated. If I'm going to pay someone a salary, I'm just going to make up some numbers here for easy math. If I'm going to pay someone a salary of $100,000 and they are a direct cost, I need to produce $300,000 of revenue to pay for that team member, at least $300,000 of revenue to pay for that team member. So I've now sold $300,000 of revenue in new services and it's cost me $100,000 to hire the person to do that stuff. I've got $200,000 left over. That $200,000 I've got left over, $100,000 goes to running the business, paying all the indirect labor, the assistant, the rent, the internet, the insurance, the legals, the software, your salary as the agency owner. And then the final $100,000 left over is your profit as a business owner. Make sense? Understand? Easy to follow, right? So what happens, so that's really simple when you hire a direct cost, right? Because I've, I've hired direct labor, I need to sell three times their salary in revenue. What if you hire indirect labor? Well, what you need to figure out is how much of that second $100,000, which is going towards running the business, how much of those expenses is wages, indirect wages. So what you do is you look at your P&L and you go, okay, well, <clears throat> the $100,000 that it cost us to run the business while we generated $300,000 in revenue, out of that $100,000, 60% of it was operating expenses and 40% of it was wages. So out of that $100,000 of operating expenses, 60% of it is running the business and 40% of it is salary. Right? So now what you've figured out is that <clears throat> out of $40,000 in wages for indirect costs, I need to sell $300,000 worth of revenue. Right? So the percentages are greater. So you, you need to know your numbers. Now, I'm not an accountant. I'm not a CPA. I'm not a financial advisor. So please don't take any financial advice from me because I don't know what I'm talking about. Talk to your accountant. Talk to your CFO. Know your numbers. The point I'm trying to make is don't just hire someone and then hope you're going to make enough money to pay for them. It's not fair to them, right? And it puts you under a lot of pressure. So don't do that. I've done that in the past, okay? And it's not fun. So get your shit together and know your numbers. And so the point then is, if you know your numbers, maybe you can afford to pay more than market salary to get the better talent, right? If you don't know your numbers, you're kind of just winging it. Now, somewhere on our blog, we have a, uh, a blog post. If you just Google Agency Mavericks financial spreadsheet, you'll find the blog post I'm talking about where we walk you through the pro forma spreadsheet and how to set that up. And I think we give you a free copy as well. So just go check that out and talk to your accountant about this. All right? and, and it's you know time to do grown-up things. If you're going to be hiring a team and growing your business, then you need to get grown-up about your numbers. Uh, okay, what other questions do we have? V Evans says here, the process is so good, so comprehensive, covering all the aspects. Excellent. Uh, do you guys just want to know how to get access to the Team Accelerator Blueprint uh, training? Is that what you're here for? Do you want to know how to get team access to the Team Accelerator Blueprint training? We are opening the doors for the next seven days only. And I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you Bum, bum, bum. I'm going to stop sharing that screen and I'm going to start sharing this screen and I will come over here and I'll show you the lovely page that we put together where you can go and learn all about it. All right, uh, Team Accelerator Blueprint is the ultimate plug and play blueprint to recruit world-class talent for your agency and it doesn't matter where you're recruiting them. It doesn't matter where in the world you're looking to. If you're looking to hire someone in New York to come into your office and develop websites or if you're looking to hire a videographer in Pakistan to help edit videos. It doesn't matter where you're hiring talent, okay? The process works. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff here about why you should do this as an agency owner, okay? I think we've had that conversation. And here are the two, here are the two typical scenarios that you go through. Is you do this yourself without a process and it's very frustrating. Uh, usually the, the hire doesn't work out because we haven't done the pre-vetting, we haven't done the culture piece. And you're kind of spinning your wheels, and I know a lot of you are already here. You have no process to recruit. When you do find someone and you hire someone who works out, you're like, well, how did we do that? That was a fluke. Can we do it again? Or you go to a recruitment agency that charges anywhere from 1500 to twenty grand, depending on the position. 
And that might be a fee to recruit. I paid a recruiting agency uh, $12,000 once to recruit someone for me in Melbourne. And I said to them, and the truth is I didn't end up paying them because this is what I said to them. I said, great, you do it and I'll do it. And whoever recruits first wins. If I win, I'm not paying you anything. And they said, okay, do it. And I'm like, suckers. I knew I was going to beat them because most recruitment agencies are hopeless, frankly. And uh, I did, I beat them. But they were, they were going to charge me $12,000 to hire an executive assistant right, in Melbourne. Some agencies will charge you a recruitment fee and then a percentage of the salary if they're a staffing agency, okay? And that could cost you, you know, a certain percentage of that person's salary for the first year. So you're looking at like minimum 1500 or north of twenty grand, depending on how you hire and who you hire through and where they are in the world, okay? What we've done is taken the best of the best recruitment processes that we've been studying and learning, and I've been doing this for over 10 years now, and I've made every mistake possible when it comes to recruiting and managing people, and we've just put the absolute best process together so that you can just plug and play. Now, one of the things that I haven't mentioned, which I'm super excited about, is that as a bonus, we are giving you a one-click import of our entire process into ClickUp. I'm just waiting for someone on the team to slap me over the head and tell me that we're not doing that, but we are doing that. Uh, so when you join Team Accelerator Blueprint, you'll also get a link where you can click a link and import our entire process, all of the to-do lists, all of the documentation, all of the scripts, all of the email templates that you need to send someone to you know, reject them or to make them an offer, the letter of offer templates, the contractor agreements, all of the questions to ask in the interviews. The entire process is mapped out as a list of to-do items and all the documentation in ClickUp in a beautiful package that we've put together. You click that, you import it into your ClickUp account and you've got the recruitment process, including, I'm a big fan of the Kanban board view in ClickUp, including our recruitment interview pipeline as a board view in ClickUp. So you can literally see your candidates moving through the recruitment process. It's a thing of beauty. I worked very hard on it. And then I gave it to someone else to finish it because my attention span is not good. Uh, but I, we did work very hard on it. So here's what you get in Team Accelerator Blueprint. The preparation. Module one is the preparation for the role, okay? Inspired very heavily by Jeff Smart's book, Who? And that's we just walked through that, like how to prepare for the role, make sure you've got the job scorecard, make sure you've got a reason for people to come work with you, write a killer job ad and start posting it and get ready for those interviews. Then we have the 3C interview process, the culture interview, the competencies interview, and the commitment interview. All the homework that you need to give them in between, the emails to send them to invite them to the interview, uh, the actual scripts and the questions to use on those interviews. And by the way, if an interview sounds like you're reading a script, you've failed. So we don't have scripts as such. We have a framework for you to follow on those interviews. Most interviews are really awkward. I like to just keep it super conversational. That's why I don't have a script. I just have a framework that I follow and I keep it really organic. Module three is onboarding and the ramp up process, how to get someone onboarded into your organization and how to ramp them up and set them up for success in that first seven days. And then the check-ins, module four is the check-ins, how to make sure that they, are, they have clarity and stability and all the resources to succeed in that role. Your job is to help them succeed so that you can then focus on doing something else, okay? You're also gonna get our entire copy and paste hiring process in ClickUp, there we go. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad I mentioned that. Uh, this just goes to show you how well our team are aligned. By the way, this entire week of free training that we've been doing in the Facebook group here and this opening the, the doors to Team Accelerator Blueprint, all I have done this week is turned up, uh, logged on to wherever Max tells me to log on to and talked and, and, prof and, and presented and, and, and given my best for you guys. I haven't done anything else. I didn't touch the page here. I haven't, uh, I, I didn't build anything. I didn't build any emails. I didn't touch, I've done nothing. I'm in the process of setting up a new studio and a new office. So I've been, I haven't got internet in the new office, right? So the entire team here has done everything for 
the launch of Team Accelerator Blueprint. I haven't done anything except turn up and give you guys my best and, and perform and host the podcast and train you guys and, and inspire you guys. That's all I've done. I'm in my sweet spot. The reason I've been able to do that is because the team are working like a pretty well-oiled machine. Sure, it's not all rainbows and unicorns and there's still things we want to fix and we know that and we're getting better every day. But man, there were days where when we opened a training and opened a, a new program, I would be doing all of the things and it would just be super stressful. I'd be working weekends, I'd be working nights. That doesn't happen anymore, okay? Uh, right, we're also giving you our hiring playbook. This is a playbook directly out of Mavericks. It's a 63-page hiring playbook broken down into five key stages, starting with mapping out your org chart, uh, working through the the job uh, scorecard and the job ad, everything that we've been going through this week. This Maverick Recruitment System playbook is directly out of Mavericks Club, okay? It's a $25,000 a year mastermind program and we have just taken one of our playbooks directly out of that and we are giving it to you. It's the exact same playbook. We haven't watered it down. We haven't taken stuff out. It's the exact same playbook that we give our Mavericks Club members and you're gonna get this when you enroll in Team Accelerator Blueprint today. We're also giving... And here's where I need to be very clear about when the training starts. We're also giving you guys a private agency growth coaching call hosted by myself. And that will be, I think it's in, I think it's three weeks after the training commences. We're all going to get on a call and I'm going to get your questions answered. I'm going to give you whatever you need to make sure that you get your first or next team member hired. So what happens is when you join Team Accelerator Blueprint today, the training actually kicks off, I believe, on the 27th of May, our time in Australia, which is next Friday. So the doors are open for Team Accelerator Blueprint for a week. You join now, you'll get your login details, you'll get access, but the training actually starts in one week from today. And the reason we're doing that is because we want everyone to go through the training at the same time. It's all going to be unlocked. It's not drip fed, I don't think. It's all unlocked at the same time. Someone will shout at me at Slack if it is drip fed, but I'm pretty sure it's all unlocked. So you can go through it, binge on it, watch it a couple of times, start implementing. And then three weeks later, we're going to run a group call, an agency growth call to make sure that you're not stuck. Okay? It's a bonus call. I only do these calls these days for people in Sales Accelerator or Mavericks Club. Right? And they are high value, high ticket programs. And I'm just going to give you guys a call at no cost because I want to make sure that you get someone hired. Let me be completely transparent here. I want you to hire a team member so that you can free up your headspace so that we can have a conversation about growing your agency and getting into Mavericks Club. That's why we're doing this, right? Uh, let's be clear. I mean, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I want you guys to join Maverick Club or to join Sales Accelerator and help you grow your agency. And in order to do that, I know that you need to hire another team member. So aside from the Team Accelerator Blueprint, we're also going to give you access to one of our private Facebook groups of agency owners. And that's where you get access to our coaches, the support team and other agency owners from around the world for advice and feedback. Okay. When you run into any problems or questions in the recruiting process, that's the place to get help. So what's the deal? Well, membership for Mavericks Club is 25 grand a year US and that's normal. This is the only place that we've ever done this before. Uh, as I said, we did also do a team accelerator, uh, which was 6K. We did that a few months ago. We're no longer doing that. We're just doing done for you recruitment for our Mavericks Club members. That's the only place that we're doing done for your recruitment now based on this exact same process, right? We're making Team Accelerator Blueprint available for just $9.97 for the next seven days. In fact, six days, 14 hours and 13 minutes. When that countdown timer hits zero, we will be closing the doors to Team Accelerator for a period of time. Make sure that everyone gets through it. Make sure that they get their next team member hired, coach them through it, help them, get them results, and then we will reopen Team Accelerator at some point in the future, the Team Accelerator Blueprint, the training, the done-for-you recruitment, I doubt we will do again. We'll just do that for Mavericks Club members. Truthfully, because the demand was so great, our team is small, and we just didn't want to grow that quickly, right? So we just said, okay, you know what? Let's just slow down here. Let's do this really well for our Mavericks Club members and not make it available to everyone else. And that makes Mavericks Club even more valuable. 
We will reopen Team Accelerator Blueprint at some point in the future, but it will be 1997 when we reopen it. So this is the only opportunity to get Team Accelerator at this launch price of 997. Now, I know you've got some questions. Before I answer questions, I'm going to give you our crazy guarantee. We are literally giving you the exact blueprint we use to find and recruit A players for our own organization and when we do done for you recruitment for Mavericks Club members. So here's the guarantee. We're gonna give you a 365 day, 100% satisfaction guarantee. If at any point in the next 12 months, if, you, if this is not working for you and you can show us that you've implemented our process and you still couldn't recruit an A play in the next 12 months, not only will I refund you your $997, but I'll pay you an additional $200 for wasting your time. That's how confident I am this process works. And I'm going to put money on the fact that I'm not going to have to refund anyone. Because if you, you follow the process and do the work, you will hire an A player. Right? So that's how confident we are. And we want to take all the risk. And the reason we're doing that, I promise you, the reason we are doing that is because I know that there is some fear around recruiting team members. This process is there to remove that fear and to give you the scaffolding and the support you need to do it anyway and to hire your first or next team member. We will walk you through the process and help you every step of the way. If at any point in the next 12 months you're like, this doesn't work, you lied to me, I'll give you your money back plus 200 bucks, right? Because I want you to hire a team member so you can grow your agency, free up some time, and then we can talk about getting into Mavericks Club and take your agency to the next level. Right, any questions from you guys in the comments here? Uh, v Evans says, such great value as usual. Thank you, V. So here's the deal. Right now, you can continue to do this on yourself. You could, I mean, look, truthfully, you could spend the next three years figuring this out yourself and you can do it yourself and not invest. That's totally fine. If you just want to go faster and want a proven framework that works, then this is option two. Get into Team Accelerator Blueprint and just follow the bouncing ball. So again, it's only open for the next six days, 14 hours and 10 minutes. And it's one easy payment of 997. I think we also have some payment plans available. And on this page, you can come and check out video testimonials from real people and written testimonials from real people that have that we have recruited for and that we have helped grow their agency. Uh, I won't bore you with the details, but you can come and check that out. The page here, for those of you listening, by the way, is agencymavericks.com slash team dash accelerator dash blueprint agencymavericks.com slash team dash accelerator dash blueprint and if you're listening to this podcast after the 27th of may 2022 then i'm sorry but you missed out on the pre-launch uh, offer if you're listening to this before the 27th of may you should really get your act together because once the 27th of may rolls around it's curtains for this okay couple of questions. Uh, do I get instant access? Well, the course will officially be released Friday the 27th of May Australian time, which is in a week's time, because we want everyone to go through at the same time. Okay. So yes, you, 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 you enroll now, you get instant access now, but the training doesn't start until next Friday. Okay. So you just hang out in the Facebook group, ask some questions, get ready. Next Friday, the training starts. Uh, it is all unlocked. It's not drip fed. So you can go through it at uh, any time, okay? Will this course fix my issues of trying to find the right team members? Yes, that's exactly what this program is all about. What if you're just starting out? Well, perfect. That means that you don't have years of bad habits that we have to undo. Even if you're just starting out, this is the perfect time to start building a team. If you don't, as I said this week, you will burn out and you will probably go broke at some point if you don't build a team. Uh Awesome. Dan Doherty says, just bought a real old house, spent a fortune on tradespeople, running low, but heck, I'm likely to make the leap. Well done, Dan Doherty. Love your work. Uh, how is the program delivered? Team Accelerator Blueprint is comprised of video-based modules and a series of companion worksheets and the ClickUp template. So the, the videos really is just showing you how to use ClickUp, the documentation and the, the list managers in ClickUp to actually get your candidates into your pipeline and move them through that recruitment pipeline and then hire them. Everything you need is in ClickUp. 
with all of the documentation. You've got the playbook, which you can just print out or have on your computer or your iPad so that you can use that as a, a refresher and just keep going back to it as a resource. Everything you need to take action is in ClickUp with the video-based training. And the videos are super short. I'm not going to make you sit through 45-minute videos to find the one nugget of gold, right? The videos are pretty punchy and you can get through it pretty quickly. This course is perfect for agency owners who want to grow or start a team, okay? If you want to find and hire A players so your team can run your business without you and eventually remove yourself from your agency at some point in the future, then this is right for you. Um, another question here is, uh, is this uh, now a good time for me? Can I join later? Well, yes, you can. The price is just going to go up, okay? A couple of questions in the in the chat here. ClickUp rocks, absolute boss app. Yes, it is. We love ClickUp. Love, love, love it. All right. Um, any other questions? Any other questions from anyone? Uh, yes, we do have payment plans available. It's a little bit more expensive in total than paying up front. So if you can make the payment up front, you will save some money. Okay. Uh, do you need to have ClickUp to manage the recruitment process? No. We teach you the methods and the strategy behind it. You can use Asana or Teamwork or whatever you're using. You don't need to use ClickUp. We, if you happen to use ClickUp, you just get our template for free. You can just import it into ClickUp and there it is. It's done for you. So it's probably going to save you a day mapping it all out in ClickUp because we've already done that for you because I'm a nerd. All right. Any other questions from anybody? Any other questions from anybody in the comments? Otherwise, I'm going to let you guys know. Um, hey, just want to thank Joyce Ann for uh, joining uh, Team Accelerator Blueprint. Well done. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have any questions, leave the, your questions underneath this video. And I will come back and answer those questions over the next couple of days. As I said, we're open for seven days until next Friday. And then we close the doors and then the training starts. So now is the time to join Team Accelerator Blueprint. It's the only time you'll be able to get our entire recruitment process at this pricing so uh, don't muck about. And if you're listening to this on the podcast, make a note as soon as you get home, back in front of the computer, uh, register for Team Accelerator Blueprint. And I look forward to working with you all and hanging out in a few weeks on that call to make sure that we get your first or next team member hired so we can free up your headspace and your time so that we can then have a conversation about taking your agency to the next level, joining Mavericks Club and ending up like Simon Major or Adam Silverman or Jenny Lakenen or Mara Milani or any of our Mavericks who have a profitable agency and who are no longer stuck on the keyboard doing the thing. They have a team that generates value for their clients and delivers profit for them as an agency owner. All right, this has been super fun. Thank you so much for being a part of it this week. I've had a great time. I love doing this stuff. I feel like I'm really in my sweet spot now because the team here are doing a great job managing all of the moving parts and keeping the business moving forward and it's very exciting. We're about to launch our new office and our new studio. I'm going to head down there now actually and keep doing some setup work and the electrician's coming in to do some more work. So very exciting. We should be operational in there in the next couple of weeks and I cannot wait to show you guys what it's all about because it looks amazing. All right, thanks for being a part of it. Look forward to seeing you all in Team Accelerator Blueprint. Until then, have a great week. Bye for now.